So, Ray mentioned Gemma, and she's been part of the fabric of Doctor Who for more than a decade now and is swapping fighting aliens for studying octopus in a new stage play. I have to be very clear about that, Gemma, because uh, I know you were up early, so you might have seen that I thought you were playing an octopus. Interesting. I hadn't read the brief properly, yes, if I'm she, got, she stopped at the bit but went... Gemma's playing an octopus scientist and she, Gemma's playing an octopus. She stopped. That's enough. You were in, didn't you? It was a missing comma. <laughs> that's what I blame, or an additional comma. There was something went wrong. So I'm, not not sure, I'm not sure that's a play anybody wants to see. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> said you were playing it. We love it. <laughs> I, think, I think the idea, you, you kind of thought, maybe it's I, like some I, Dr Octopus in Spider-Man, like what some I superhero. Thought. I thought it was like a superhero scientist. I, I went on a whole adventure at uh, half three this morning, didn't I? So can you put Kate out of her... her, her uh, Fog and explain a little bit about this extraordinary play that you're in. Yeah. Or you're Octopolis. About. Octopolis. Octopolis. Um, it's, it's a play about um, two academics. Um, I, I play George, who is an animal behaviourist, who is ah. studying octopus intelligence and lives with an octopus on, in her... She has been given research funding and lives on a university campus with this octopus, Francis. Um, and when you meet George, she, um, she, the, the thing that, that really defines her is that she's dealing with the traumatic loss of her husband, which has happened uh, prior to the beginning of the play. And rather like the octopus, who has no shell, she, mm. as you might know, if you are, when you are bereaved, is quite skinless. Yeah. She, um, uh, she has become quite... Recl reclusive mm -hmm. and has separated herself really from the from her, the rest of the campus and and life, and into this house comes Harry, uh, an anthropologist who has been billeted in the same house because he has a research project of his own that involves Francis, and um, and it's how they negotiate each other and deal with each other and how George. Um, uh, manages well. She fails to repel him from the house, and it's really, a, it's a brilliantly, it's a dazzlingly intelligent play. It's funny and beautiful and poetic, and it's um, soulful, and it's about grief and love and loss. Which and are such universal things. Yes. When you look at it, when you finally, if you're me, work out exactly what it is, <laughs> you know, it seems quite a specific thing, and yes. a, an octopus scientist. But actually, when you when you look at what it's dealing with, which is the universal theme of grief that yes. we experience in so many forms, it, of course. it has something wonderful there, doesn't yes. it? Yes. And really, through this imposition, having to negotiate this other person, she begins to come through and back into... The world. The world. Mm. But it's not an easy process and it's a sort of decompression chamber of... Sounds it's tough. Great. But it's... But it is... It's, I can't tell you how brilliant and beautiful it is. It's really marvellous. And I am so lucky to be in it because nobody... Very few people write parts for women mm. my age that are as comprehensively 3D and, um, well, it's sensational. And inspiring and exciting. I, yes. I, I, it's, I mean, I, I, Francis the Octopus sounds like a fascinating character as well. Because... I love the way you said it. She is a sort of character <laughs> yeah, in the yeah, play she because be. she's <laughs> talked about... And, and the conduit and, and sort of the purpose of why you're both there initially. Yes, and how they relate to each yeah. other is, in, is, is, is through this. And we are, I think... A little bit obsessed with octopus. We had Paul the octopus, I think, was the the uh, World oh, the... Cup predictor oh, yes. a few years ago. Yes, and, yes, yes. And there's an amazing documentary on Netflix, My Octopus Teacher. Oh well, yes. And, and so the the idea of an it's... octopus, their intelligence is extraordinary. Have, we don't much... know quite how intelligent yeah. they are. They have nine brains, which is amazing. Yes, they I have a main brain. I mean, I yeah, yeah. exactly, I, exactly. But I, and so is there an essence, elements of their their intelligence in the play, or is it? Yeah. Is, Yes, yeah. there is, and and how they and how they behave. And Octopolis refers to a, a place that was discovered. It was called Octopolis, just off the coast of Australia. They are very solitary octopuses. Mm. They 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 don't tend to, they they don't tend to associate with other octopuses. Except that this place, it was discovered, 
um, a, a, a huge uh, amount of octopuses living in the same place and communicating with each other. Wow. Um, community. Yes, a sort Amazing. of community of octopuses. Wow. Look, we're going to have to jump from octopuses to aliens and Doctor <laughs> Who, aren't we? Because has he you... ever fought an octopus, Doctor Who? I'm not sure. He's I ever, mean, there's has been, ever been many an, an alien that um, that the, the looks yeah. like an octopus or has a sort of influence of octopus. Are you back? Are you going to have a spin-off? Because your character is so brilliant in that. I don't know anything about spin-off. Right. Somebody in my book club did message me and said, I saw something about you having a series. And I said, I've heard nothing about it. I shall call my agent. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I don't know. I think I, 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 I don't know about a spin-off, but I have been asked and I have been back. Uh, I've done an, uh, one episode in um, the series 14. And uh, it's, I, it's such a wonderful thing to be part of that family. And you, I, I've never taken it for granted that I will be in the, sure. <laughs> brought back. But um, it's a, it, it, was, it was absolutely tremendous. And to be as part of uh, Russell T. Davis's new vision. sort of vision mm. is, is so exciting. Because because they're very passionate Hoovians. My they my are. kids are particularly my son is just knows every detail, everything, and and there is an excitement, I think, and a trepidation about a new Doctor Who. Yes, there is huge. I I, I know I, I haven't yet got to work with Ah okay Shooty. I, I worked with Millie, um, uh, and so hopefully, who knows, uh, that will happen. But. Yeah. yeah. And, and if you want to find out about the next job you've got, book club. Sounds like they know before you do. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps so I should... Perhaps... <laughs> no. I could spin that as well. Uh, no, my agent is far too good. I'm not moving. Gemma, <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much for joining us. So, Octopolis, the Hampstead Theatre. Yes. Uh, 15th of September to the 28th of October. Sounds absolutely fascinating, really. It's really, really wonderful. It's so funny and beautiful and romantic. And you'll be out by 9.15, so <laughs> in every way... Even better. It's, you know, you get us on by 10. I love that. It's an octopus <laughs> behaviourist, not the octopus itself. Got that, got that, that. Thank got you so much that. For that. I'm going to go and watch it if I can. Uh, right, and still to come.